Hello, welcome back to Court Above the Cut. So I am on the Grand Union Canal. I'm actually not here for that though. I'm going across to the Buckingham Arm, which is just across there. It's actually the old Stratford Arm, uh, but it was two arms along it, basically the Buckingham Canal and the, um, and this, the old Stratford Arm. One run up, well, up to an old Roman road. And then that was in the original uh, Act of 1793. And then I think the second section of the Buckingham bit was added on after. Uh, it's a closed canal. It's been closed uh, for some time but there's uh, plans in place to, to open it all up. So I'm at Cosgrove Lock now, which is uh, just, just before the junction here. Uh, it's quite an interesting lock. So this is the access to the canal. You've got to oh, cross across the lock gates. There used to be a swing bridge on here years ago, and there is hope that maybe they can uh, reinstate one, uh, but you, you can have a bridge swung around. There's one very similar to it just down the road, which uh, I'll put on now. So I'm just at Fenny Stratford Lock. So this is uh, very similar to the lock across Grove. This one has a swing bridge still on it. So I thought I'd come down here and show you it. It's uh, quite a unique design, so it goes across the top. So this isn't a proper lock. It was uh, built to aid the construction of the canal uh, when the, the, the original Grand Union was being built and uh, it doesn't there's only a slight slight level of difference between sort of this side and this side they deemed it too expensive to remove so so they kept it so the plan is to have one of these on the uh, on the lock here at Cosgrove just so you can access the arm we're just on a junction here the other thing you've got are these old tramways so this would have been for carrying ballast and stuff it's been quite a busy area in time with the Buckingham branch coming down and I believe you can trace it on Google to, to a station on a light railway locally but obviously this is the only bit left everything else is gone so the only way to cross us now is across the lock gate so fairly safe you've got two bars on either side that end's only got one on not the highest lock in the world not the deepest so they never really fully planned to close this section off permanently it was leaking quite badly uh, like many of the arms were the wendover arm is especially leaky this one was apparently pulling water back so in 1944 they, they put some temporary piles in across by bridge one then it just never reopened so it was never actually closed by an act of parliament so technically it's still still an open canal so the reason for me coming today is to see the new dredger being uh, named and going under the bridge for the first time. So the boat, boat's gonna be named Diana. It's a, an old CRT boat. So it's kindly brought by Tim Co Coughlin, uh, who owns Braunston Marina, who donated uh, the money towards the boat. And it's been named after his wife, Diana. So we're here now. I'm just on one of the trust boats, uh, ready to go. The boat ahead of us here is Diana. She's gonna be named soon and then under the bridge. So the bridge was uh, restored fairly recently and they've just uh, recently removed uh, the piling which was across here somewhere. I'm not too sure exactly where it was. Uh, I think it may have been here. There was a mud bank behind there which kept kept this branch shut. So that was removed. They've now got permission from CRT to, to, to move um, forward through here. There'll be no boats through here as I, as I've said a few times but there will be um, that will mean they can carry on with the work to, to get this opened up and prove there's no leaks as well. This was originally a feeder canal, so they don't want leaks or anything, they want to bring water into the canal. Mike, Mike over in the background there was one of the original trustees who had the vision uh, let's go and restore the Buckingham Arm. And here we are about to celebrate collecting 500 metres, which to those who love to work in old money, including me, is just over a third of a mile to the Grand Union Network. This is quite an interesting bridge. This is uh, Bridge 1, so it's a mixture of old and new. So this bridge was in place for quite a while, uh, and then they basically took the top off of it, backfilled it, uh, and then there was just some mud truck going across the top of the, top of the bridge. So you can actually see the old bridge in place now. Uh, you can see the arch with the abutments on top. Uh, there's the old rope marks left for when the um, horses would have been pulling the barges through. The rope's frayed on the side of the arch and cause that. Uh, and then the actual bridge construction itself is, is built on top, it's a new bridge. You can't see it now, but you've got sort of uh, pillars in behind there, there's a brick face around it, and then you've got five uh, steel um, beams going across, and on top of that you've got what's called block and beam. You can sit here, good chances are if you've got solid floors in your house, uh, this is how it's built. So you've got concrete beams going across the opposite way to those steels. Uh, and then you've got concrete blocks sit inside them and then it's screeded up over the top and then you've got a solid solid base to go from there. Today we're going to have a wonderful special event and I'm very pleased to have a, what has become a very good personal friend of mine, David Suchet, to drive the first 500 yards of this Buckingham Canal just over there since 1935. Isn't it? 37, sorry, correction, 1937. And what particularly attracted me about getting involved with the Buckingham Canal Society, because I am involved in other ones, and even more so with the Litchfield, um, is 
to actually see it completed in my lifetime. Because uh, I think 10 years should be legal. <laughs> and onto the top of the bridge, uh, the trackway's raised, uh, basically just with um, stones. So this is a, a farm track. Uh, you've got the fields behind and stuff, so it's sort of access. So you've got to put these back in place when uh, when restoring these. Otherwise, uh, traffic can't get across, but it's not main road or anything. I now declare that the restored and connected Cosgrove Arm of the Buckingham Canal open. So they, they pulled the boat through. There was a few people, sort of the VIPs on board, and they got it to about this point here. And then uh, they disaster struck. As you can see, the boat's now struggling. They they hit a, a, a bunch of sunk in the bed on the bed of the canal. Uh, they're not. They weren't expecting to get it very far, sort of a few hundred yards, just just to try and get a boat through. And a boat hasn't passed under here since 1937. So I mean, that's what 90 90 years. Wow, about 85 years. So they went back and forwards a couple of times, as you can see they're doing here, and gave some run-ups, but they were struggling. You can see where the boat's listing. That's where it was kind of catching on something and throwing the front end down. So they they couldn't really get any further. So they, they, you'll see in a second, they do try and sort of do some digging out uh, and they made a couple of attempts at it, but they, they were throttling the engine as hard as they possibly could and they, they weren't getting anywhere. But this boat is designed to clear these sections. So as you can see now, like I say, it's digging. You can see that black murky stuff coming up through. That's all the, the sediment on the bottom of the canal bed that's finally coming up and, and getting through. And let me rest rest assured it stinks. <laughs> so they, they tried moving a little bit, tried, tried a few things to do it. But this boat is going to do that. It's going to clear it. It's going to take it up to the mud boats where they can clear out this whole section and allow uh, boats to come up and down through here. The important thing about this is they can now get boats from the main network onto this arm so they can get work done all their work boats can come through it's not open to 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 anybody from the public but it is open for them to allow their work boats to come through so they can get it clear and then maybe you know sometime soon you'll be able to come along with your with your pleasure boats or with your liverboards and and come up here and actually uh, run from one end to the other of this section so there's a lot of work going on at the moment to uh, get this section ready uh, the bridge being the first stage of it. There's uh, piling work going on further up here uh, and various other pe bits and pieces. Uh, the dredger is going to have to come through and, and do a lot of dredging through. As you can see they've got some uh, mud boats here. So the route runs up to what is now the A5 uh, and it's called the Old Stratford Arm. So the reason for that was the, the A5 was actually an old Roman road, been a, a pack horse road and stuff for many years. There's a lot of trade running along it. So when the Grand Union came along they wanted to get across to that. It's now uncrossable where the old route was and most of the route going up through is is built on so they won't be taking that route anymore and the plan is to to tee off uh, the canal just up here and take a new route under the A51 and across uh, south of uh, Old Stratford. As you can see there's this uh, duckweed, uh, I can't quite remember the name for it, it's a blight on canals at the moment, it's uh, an invasive species. It was introduced into the UK in ornamental ponds late 1800s. It's gone mad, it's taken over everywhere. It loves the wet summers, so this year's been particularly bad for it, but it, you can get up to a, like a, a foot or two thick, I think. You can see it's really thick here. I know somewhere on the network, I can't quite remember where it was, they've just released something like 10,000 weevils. Again, the weevils are an invasive species, so you'd think they wouldn't, wouldn't release them, but they eat it. It's, they've been around since the early 1900s, and I haven't caused any problems. So they're actually classed as... Um, not native, it's kind of like a, a term in between, so they're actually allowed now. I'm sure the reason for this, there is a canal somewhat. So this uh, first section, the old Stratford Arm, is actually a, a wider canal. It's on the same dimensions as the Grand Union. Uh, when you go on to the Buckingham Arm, which is kind of after this section, uh, it goes back to a narrow canal. There's quite a lot of algae in there as well, it's not just the uh, duckweed. But this this is all be cleaned out. It's you know this isn't another wheel at the moment. It will be after today technically. You won't be able to bring your boats up, but the uh, trust can certainly uh, bring boats up and start clearing it and dredging it and stuff now with with much uh, much easier. This would have been a dry bed uh, a few years back. Uh, you can see here. Look, you've got all sorts on here, more hens and stuff. 
there's fish, I saw a load of fish moving about in uh, the bit back there and there's lots going. So the wildlife uh, biodiversity thing's already happening down here, which is uh, great to see. Obviously when this is restored further, there'll be more waterway and more life and, and all that lot. So as I said, this is going to branch off soon, but uh, there's hopes, uh, just hopes at the moment, they can restore the other section, the old section right up to the main road, whether it be for boats or just for wildlife, I'm not too sure could have it for sort of uh, water sports and stuff as well. There's quite a few uses you can do for it, but uh, certainly an environmental side will be a massive benefit. So you've got a little bend here. So this is where the piling is now. So you can see on that side, they've done quite a bit. Uh, it's narrowing it here. So I assume they're, they're doing so to allow for the rest of the canal. So you don't take a wide boat down here and get stuck. So you assume the new dig when they do it, which is actually, uh, according to my maps, is around here somewhere. Uh, it may or may not be, I'm not too sure. Uh, so I use waterway routes, and uh, I'm not too sure if that's just a rough area where it's going across or an actual planned one. You see drainage coming across through that into the old arm. So this piling work is ongoing at the moment. I'm not sure how far they're taking this down. I'm assuming it's all coming this way. And I guess it's to try and help what was probably one of the leaky sections. Like I said, this was closed due to leaks. Water seems to be holding pretty well at that end, but then again, it is fed now constantly from the Grand Union. I'll be doing some more videos down here. I was planning to do the rest of the arm today. There's a big section you can't walk down, and then there's, I think, about five miles you can do. I don't think I'm going to get to it now. The I've double booked myself. I'm supposed to be up at uh, Langley Mills on the Cromford Canal, so I'm going to try and head up here after, after all of this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.